Following the fatal shooting of four unarmed Marines in Chattanooga by Mohammed Yusuf Abdul Aziz, Rush Limbaugh had a belly full of the blatant lies and obscuration by Obama and his complicit news media. He retorted sarcastically, quote, We must avoid bigotry, racism, prejudice, and obviously the truth, unquote. America's top radio host says parody becomes real life when the Obama administration tries to respond to Islamic terrorism in America when President Obama merely referred to Mohammed Yosef Abdulaziz as a quote-unquote lone gunman. White House spokesman Josh Ernest said FBI was, quote, looking at a variety of possible motives, unquote. U.S. Attorney Bill Killian said, quote, it's premature to speculate on the motives of the shooter, unquote. An FBI agent in charge, Edwards Reinhold, said he has, quote, no idea, unquote, what the shooter's motive was because there is nothing that ties him into an international terror organization, unquote. Limbo clearly wasn't buying the nation's top five investigators' claims when they were, quote, unquote, stumped as to what possibly could have po uh, prompted Muhammad Yusuf Abdulaziz to murder four Marines in broad daylight in Chattanooga, Tennessee, adding that they chose to ignore a blog uh, post from Muhammad Yusuf Abdulaziz extolling the virtues of fighting jihad for the sake of Allah, unquote. On July 13th, Yusuf Abdul Aziz wrote, quote, don't let society we live in deviate you from the task at hand. Take your study guide, the Quran and Sunnah, with strength and faith and be firm as you live your short life in this prison called dunya, unquote. Yet Obama and the news media are still searching for a motive for the attack. Clearly, America's most prominent news anchors and investigative reporters were in lockstep in their bewilderment. Here are some of their examples that Rush shared in his program. Lester Holt said, quote, The motive for the attacks is unknown. Unquote. Um, let me see if I have another one here. Oh, yeah. John Berman asked, quote, Any sign of a motive? Unquote. Uh, Paul Cruikshan said, quote, we don't yet know the motives at this point, unquote. Aaron Burnett pleaded, they're desperately trying to figure out what the motive might have been. And Wolf Blitzer said with a straight face, this individual, we don't yet know the motive of Muhammad Yosef Abdulaziz. Uh, there's others. Joey Chen chimed in. Investigators are already looking into the suspected shooter's background to identify some motive. <laughs> the trail so far has not revealed much, unquote. Limbaugh then deadpan, quote, The media is pulling its hair out, trying to figure out why in the world this average ordinary blend into the crowd never... <laughs> I don't know if I could go on. Um, uh, all right, let me pick up and see if I can find some more. Oh, I guess I'll finish it. Uh, blend into the crowd. Never stop him in a lineup. <laughs> American teenager. This is sad. This is really sad. He picks up, what in the world could have motivated him to shoot five people? Why in the world would something like this happen? Uh, I, I mean, I feel like quitting now, but I've got a document that even Reuters News Service proclaimed, quote, investigators seek a motive behind. This is so bad. Behind the Tennessee shooting rampage, unquote. I mean, the Kremlin didn't do stuff like this in the Cold War. At least their propaganda was 10% believable. This is not even 1% believable. And here are just a few of the hundreds of other similar asinine admissions of the conspiracy of silence caused by the news media in their desperate attempts to obscure the obvious truth behind the 
motive of Muslim Muhammad Yusuf Abdul Aziz's shooting spree of whom he undeniably viewed as American infidels. Give me a break. Los Angeles Times, by the way, uh, says Chattanooga gunman's motives remain the mystery, authorities say. Washington Post says, as investigators probe into the Chattanooga rampage, a portrait of the shooter emerges. CNN says, four Marines killed a dead suspect in questions of motive. Huh? NBC, no motive um, known for gunmen firing on Marines. CBS here, let's see. Oh, authorities look for motive in Tennessee rampage. ABC authorities try to figure out motive for Chattanooga shooting. Detroit News, Chattanooga's gunman, motive a mystery. Sounds like George Carlin. It's a mystery. But he was a comedian. These guys are pretending to be serious. And even in the city of the shooting, in a total insult to the fa family members who were mourning, and before there's even a funeral, the best Chattanooga Free Press was able to write was, quote, officials combed the shooter's history in search of a motive. A motive, a motive. My kingdom for a motive. We're at the end of this video, but let us leave you with a couple of quick questions. Question number one. Which do you find more dangerous to national security of the United States of America? Islam or the displaying of a historic Confederate flag or a Christian baker politely refusing to frost some things that are against his First Amendment religious rights. Or perhaps the displaying of a Confederate flag. I mean, or let me, let me ask you this. If the leading news anchors in the United States of America can look into the camera lenses and lie with straight faces to you and me as Americans, saying they are clueless as to the motives of the shooter, Muhammad Yosef Abdulaziz, after multiple other shootings occurred by Muslim lone wolves, as they call them, what else might the news media be lying about? Think about that. This media was based largely on excerpts taken from an article published in WND.com, just enter into the search box, Shooters, Motive, Stumps, Obama, FBI, and Media. Or click on the link in our description area of this YouTube video. I should say video. It happens to be on YouTube. It's not their video. Please forward a copy of this video to friends, family, coworkers, and your elected representatives, and even to members of the news media, and ask them these two questions. One. I don't know if you really do this, but it'd be great if you did. It might be fun. Number one, can you think of any possible motive for the shootings in Chattanooga by Muhammad Yosef Abdulaziz? And when, and the second question might be, and when will we as Americans wake up to the obvious solution for our survival as a nation to shut down all mosques, to ban Islam and its constitution called Sharia law, which is in direct conflict with the United States Constitution and U.S. law, and Muslim terrorist manifestos known as the Quran, Sunnah, and Hadiths, and so forth, that call for the outright genocide of all non-Muslims, otherwise known as infidels, on this planet Earth. From once was the home of the the land of the free and the home of the brave, and once was a truly peace-loving nation. Not peace defined by Muslims as cutting all infidels into peace is and killing every non-Muslim so that then there would be peace on earth. Wake up, America!